Hi there, Jeff Coughlin, Editor Scale Modelling Now. Well, this is an extraordinary book. Battleship Bismarck, A Design and Operational History by William H. Uh, Gartzka Jr., Robert O. Dunn Jr. and William Urens with James Cameron. Published Seafall Publishing, available from Pen and Sword. This is just mind-numbingly uh, comprehensive. Over 600 pages, it's hardback, and it has to be the definitive book on this huge capital battleship, um, Bismarck, from World War II. Um, it's hard really to sum this up really, um, but let me do my best anyway, uh, and take you on a bookshelf browse, which is what we're looking at this time, um, so that you can get a bit of an idea of what's involved. Um, perhaps if we just go towards the, the front of the text, a um, couple of things to point out straight away. You can see here, if I just bring you into the contents page, um, obviously you've got everything from the origins right the way through um, the development of the battleship, um, and its major campaigns, and particularly um, the destruction of Hood, which was uh, just an extraordinary uh, event from its history. And then, of course, it gradually being tackled um, by Victorious, by the swordfish, very swordfish aircraft from HMS Victorious. Um, and I have to say that... Um, that whole episode uh, just left me enthralled, absolutely enthralled. I, I mean, thanks very much to the, the authors and publishers. I had set aside uh, um, a full one hour to dip into this book, to get a good feel for it, to be able to give it um, decent um, assessment. And uh, here we are nearly three hours later and I've just had to stop I've just I just have to stop for the moment and show you and bring you um, an insight to, to this fabulous uh, title it's just so well written every element of it is outstanding um, from the accounts um, from the depth of the research to the readability to the presentation to the whole quality of every element of this title um, I cannot speak highly enough of it. Um, it just goes on and on and on. There are really nice um, inserts, just like in, you can see here, um, where some key players, uh, Admiral Sir John Tovey uh, and, and others, are singled out and then we're able to get insight into some of the key players connected with um, the, uh, the um, events, um, and exploits of the, the battleship. Um, I mean, just iconic pictures. I mean, this is a classic one you can see here. Um, it's a famous photograph by, uh, taken by Flying Officer Michael Suckling um, of the 18th Reconnaissance Group, the Royal Air Force, um, when he made an overflight at an altitude of 7,600 metres, 21st of May, 41, at 1315. And you can just see here Bismarck uh, located in... Uh, Grimstad Field uh, near Bergen in Norway and you've got these three merchant ships that are used or were used to supply it but also to act as a bit of a torpedo shield should anyone decide to take it on uh, and, and, and so on and so forth. But I think really the chapter for me that just um, got me enthralled was the whole attack by Ark Royal. Um, and you just get a fabulous sense because of the way this book is written um, from different perspectives, from the German uh, perspective on board ship and Admiral Lutyens um, and various orders given by the captain, right the way through to um, picking up um, the closing of HMS Sheffield that was shadowing it and that had broken away to, to shadow it. And then you've got the fact that that hadn't been communicated to the captain or, or of Ark Royal, or if it had, um, it was too late before the first wave of attacks by swordfish aircraft were launched, which then transpired in HMS Sheffield being attacked, number of torpedoes being launched, and astonishingly, um, that vessel avoiding um, a, a hit. And so the aircraft returned. A number of them um, crashed on board. Um, 
But nonetheless, um, what's, what's just amazing about that whole operation, then the subsequent wave um, of aircraft that resulted in the now infamous damaging of the steering gear, starboard uh, rudder particularly of the Bismarck, um, by the second wave of swordfish. I mean, the fact that the, there was a kind of a force nine gale uh, blowing throughout the whole thing, monstrous seas, ridiculously poor visibility. And throughout that uh, encounter, um, you've got aircraft that are somehow managing to fly with often 150 metres um, uh, visibility, very poor visibility. You've got, they're flying at incredibly low level, so much so that you've got uh, spray crashing over the decks, uh, sorry, over the undercarriage of the swordfish as they make their slow um, attack on, on the Bismarck or multiple attacks on the Bismarck. Um, and despite claims that in fact seven uh, of the swordfish aircraft had been shot down during that attack, none of the swordfish, in fact, um, were lost in the attack. Uh, I think a couple, a uh, few crashed on board um, Ark Royal returning, but none of the crews uh, were lost. They were just sort of mostly undercarriage failures and that kind of thing. Um, quite astonishing. Um, I, I just am going to stop blabbering on now at this point only because it, it's just fabulous because of course one of the other great things you can see here just to finish off this bookshelf review is the fact you've got multiple photographs taken from the um, underwater expeditions to the wreck that have now helped reinforce um, or counter some of the witness testimony evidence of what happened during the um, the various attacks on Bismarck, but of, mostly corroborative. I think it's really terrific how, how a lot of the um, attacks, particularly the damage reports um, and attacks, have been um, clarified as a result of visiting the wrecks and then bringing all of that wealth of data within the, um, the book itself. So quite an extraordinary feat. Um, uh, undoubtedly... Um, the best book I've ever seen uh, on, on, on the Bismarck itself, of course. Um, but I have to say, possibly this is the best book I have ever seen. Um, I think it's of that order, 600 pages of the most extraordinary quality. And as far as I'm concerned, if you can possibly afford the, uh, to, to push the boat out by this book, I think it's currently retaining around £55 or thereabouts. I think it's a snip, an absolute steal at that price. This is a book you do not want to miss. It's as simple as that. If you can get hold of it, do buy it now. Because I fully expect this is the sort of title that will drift out of um, print at some point and will become one of those legends of... Um, or le just legends, really, in terms of wanting to get hold of it at some later date. So if you can get hold of it now, I absolutely would. Superb um, title. Thanks very much to the publishers and, of course, the authors. Battleship Bismarck, a design and operational history, an absolute masterpiece.